everyone, welcome to my first digital art speed paint. Yay! Insert generic YouTube audio library applause here. And my laptop is getting louder because I actually have a proper microphone now. That's right. Yes, I do. It's amazing. I love it. Um, okay, so first off, let's talk about the piece. So I'm drawing a rebellious kind of girl and she's eating a banana ice cream. You will, you probably saw it in the thumbnail. You will see the coloring later on. It's, it's banana. It is yellow banana. Also known as a, a lot of food coloring and chemicals, but we're going to ignore that. Um, yeah. So I called this un banan because my family loves what well, my mum and my sister and I, we love the Danny Boy joke, Un Banan. It's like this story kind of joke about this like French class. Anyway, I'll leave the link to it in the description if I can find it. Um, you should totally go and watch it, it's so funny. So every time we refer to bananas, we say Un Banan. So therefore I could not call this piece anything other than Un Banan. Are you with me? You're with me, I'm sure. Uh, but other than that, this piece doesn't really have any meaning, like, there's no story behind her. Um, so if you have a meaning, <laughs> go down to the comments. Give me your most original, craziest meaning for this piece, because I feel like you guys could come up with something hilarious. Let's talk about unoriginality for a second. I've started doing digital art, and someone told me on Instagram that they don't want me to do that because they think it's unoriginal. You should go down to the comments and leave your opinion on that too, because I honestly, like, I'm such a YouTuber asking for comments. No, like, I just like communicating with my audience. Is that so wrong? No. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I just, I've been enjoying digital art more because you can do more sketches and there's less commitment and you can change and improve on a lot of things. Is, is that a bad thing? Is that cheating? then yes, I'm a cheater, but I'm a cheater with slightly more mediocre, less bad art. So ha, I, I win. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I also love the look of digital art. And for the longest time I was doing digital art with a pad tablet uh, when I would be able to do it. And it just felt so unnatural to me. So even though I love my pad tablet and I still will whip it out every now and again when I need to do something on the laptop. Uh, I've been using my iPad. So that's right, I got an iPad. Best art investment ever. Got an iPad and an Apple Pencil. Um, and Procreate. And that's what this has been filmed on. I can't remember if I mentioned that. I probably did, knowing me. Um, yeah, I got the iPad 6th generation because I had to get something that would work with the Apple Pencil, of course. It was my first Apple product, actually. Very exciting. I I was super excited. I was like a little kid on Christmas opening it up. I was like, oh my goodness, look, it's so clean. Wow, it's not nearly that clean anymore. It's got a lot of fingerprints on it, although there there is a screen protector, so that's that's good. Also, I've learned how to turn my line art into like colors, like, you know, colored line art. I, I never knew how to do that before. And I learned to do it for this piece. Isn't that great? No, wait, I learned it a couple of pieces ago. Anyway, um, yeah, I've been doing more digital, digital art. And I found that if I do digital art, it's easier to make YouTube videos. Like, for example, I ripped this straight from Procreate. So if you guys are enjoying short Procreate speed paints like this, if you think that you'll enjoy these, let me know, because these are really easy to make. And I might be able to make more of them. Uh, but if you think that this is sort of bad quality content, just let me know and I won't make more of them. Um, or maybe I will. I don't know. One of those. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm about to run out of time. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!